Ducks offense. Oregon is going to receive the opening kickoff, so we'll see the Ducks offense on the field first. McHale Wright, very dangerous kick returner, will take a knee. He's, he's run the ball effectively, then they've asked him to do that. He pitches it right side running to Travis Dye, who gets the first carry. First drive of the game from Berkeley. Shuck in the pocket. Pressured by Good, but had time to throw, and that pass is incomplete. The offense really struggles. Going to throw the ball on first down, and he completes his first pass of the game. Out to the left side, that's Makai Pope, third and five. Garbers has plenty of time, now steps up, going to try to run and couldn't get there. In the pistol formation, back to pass on first down, and he'll sling it to the left side. Yeah, that's the, the word you keep hearing with Micah Pittman, not just how talented he is, but how energetic on the feet of the game. He didn't run it much last week against Oregon State. Die gets another carry, and he will push forward close, and I think he got the first down and out on the field. Quicker tempo. There's the run game from Shuck, and there's the speed. He's going to get the first down. There is a penalty flag. You're looking to free up 19 good. Inside the 35, some pass rush comes, but it's a screen pass. Beautifully set up. Die with all kinds of room and blockers in front. Inside the 20, so thin along the defensive line. The defensive line played all 69 snaps. I don't know that I've ever heard anything quite like that. Shuck to the end zone, incomplete. And about 30, Red, who's in motion. They handed to it, Red. No, they faked it to him. Shuck kept it and couldn't get there. It is short field goal, but not an easy angle. Good hold, and that kick is right on through. Last week. He's got four for the year for a total of nine yards. I mean, that's hard to believe. That was a nice grab for a first down and more for the Bears this season. First and ten, Garbers looking short again, throws it very short, and a nice move by Makai Polk. One of those, Colin Moore, goes back in motion. They'll fake it to Shaw, throw it short right. Sort of classic West Coast offense there for the completion. But not on the third down. What would the chances be that you had expertise in the alpaca, alpaca world? <laughs> So Brown inside the 10, gets the handoff and powers wow. his way to the goal line. Christopher Brown, touchdown oh, wow. Cal. After review, determined that the runner was, he was down prior to the goal line. The ball will be spotted at the half yard line, that will be second down. Now yep. on fourth and goal, Cal's going for it. Agreed. And Bradrick Shaw Agreed. is in, but Garbers will sneak it forward and he gets in. So the Bears decide to go for it on fourth and goal. Why not looking for your first win of the year? And after the review, took the touchdown away. Took him a few extra plays, but Cal is on the board leading 6-3. to three. Yeah, Stanford, the 49ers, they did not get exceptions. They've had to make extraordinary uh, plans also in the Bay Area. The punt team out, though, and Die will be back to return for Oregon. Fair catch made about the 26, another flag. Illegal substitution. 12 players on the defense. Whoa. This five-yard penalty results in a first down. Hand off, and they're going to pitch it back to Remigio, who gets a block and gets tripped up. So far for Cal's offensive line. They will run left side and bouncing it out there with a nice run for a first down easily. Damian Moore. Damian from Bishop Ahmad High School has produced so many great football players over the years. Third and seven, Garbers in the pocket, throws, and that one is caught. Stud tailback, that was pretty impressive. Size Third and eight. matters not. <laughs> Garbers on the move. Garbers, who's got great speed, is going to get the first down and much more. His 13 plays. This will be the 13th play of this drive. They're playing keep away in this first half. And a powerful run inside the 10. Bill keeps it simple. Marcel Dancy had that last carry, his first touch of this game. Got five. Garbers going to pass. No, he's going to get sacked by Thibodeau in your little quarantine workouts trying to stay sharp. Garbers on third down, scrambling. He'll throw, and that one is caught inside the 10, but the tackle by Lenore, who made a couple of really good tackles on this drive. Now a flag thrown and a couple flags late. That one could be another big mistake for the Ducks. We'll After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number five of the defense, this is his first of the game. 
I will say Jake Curhan sold that one. I don't think that was quite the shove that Jake made it seem to be. It was in there for I the sneak on fourth and goal last time. They're going to fake it to him. Garbers will throw, and it is knocked away incomplete. Oregon comes up with a stop, but there's a penalty flag. Oh, my goodness. Is Oregon going to commit another penalty? The 15 of the defense. In the oh, zone. you got to be kidding Penalty me. Is half the distance and an automatic you got to be kidding me. Look, pass interference means impeding the receiver. It doesn't mean that there's contact. Left hand is low. That's not a foul. You can brace yourself. That's a bad call. Assuming Cal can, well, and we shouldn't assume that because they have had a terrible time from the one. This time they get it in with Bradrick Shaw. Touchdown Bears. Despite having a relapse in 2012, and that drug is now protocol. So she's living proof of the value of research. And as you can imagine, Dana. Uh, telling the story of her amazing fight against cancer. And then in the middle of it, she stopped listening and started screaming for a kid who's running again. Okay, you can dwell on the loss for a day. It's time to move on. That's what we do in our family. And Tyler and the Ducks trying to do that on third down. That throw right on the money for a first down. She would be here, so we'll see. Third and 16 from the shotgun. Shuck pressured immediately. Has to step up. Slings one down the sideline. Wide open. Caught. Touchdown. Johnny John. Third and one. Moore cut it back. Yeah, maybe a little dangerous there, but he got the first down easily. Excellent year in his Hall of Fame career. Third and 10 after the timeout. Wow, that was in press coverage. Work on others in the slot, but don't work on him. First down, Shuck going downfield, wide open in stride. That's Travis Dye down the sidelines to the 20. Will cut it inside, inside the 10. Verdell in the backfield, they will fake it to him. Shuck gets upended but falls forward. Is he in? No, he's down. They bring Johnson in motion. They hand it off. Habibi Lakio, touchdown, Oregon. Remarkable. Really good corner. Hand off. Die made a nice cut, and Travis Die gets wrestled down. Reasonably well. Wants to get better at it. Chuck on the move, trying to change directions, and just could not get away. Cal down three, 10 plus to go, still third quarter from Berkeley. Chase Garber's in the pocket, throws, and that one is incomplete. All types of cancer. Two incompletions, Sean Dollar's in a tailback for the Ducks. Tyler Shuck gonna take off and tried to tough his way to the first down, he did from their own 28 yard line. Leading by three in the third quarter, Shuck will fake it and this time Gets dropped for a loss of a couple yard family, and it's no, it's no coincidence that Tyler has turned into such a good player at a young age. He whistles that one over. Yeah, it could be a big time player. Just one catch coming in before today. Handoff. Cal had that defended it pretty well, but Habibi Likio still managed to get the first down. We think, but there's a penalty flag again. Holding 53 of the offense. This is a 10-yard penalty. Wow. It's still third down. Another ill-timed penalty against Oregon. Pistol on third and 11. Shuck in the pocket. Not anybody getting behind them. Marcel Dancy in the game at tailback. They'll hand it to him. Dancy with his burst of speed and some power at the end of the roster. One of their 10 best players coming into the year, Absolutely. I would think. He had nine rushing yards in the first three games. Nine total. Garber's over the top. End zone. There he is for a touchdown. He's six to make it more fair. They're down in seven for Oregon. And shock pressured is going to have to essentially just kind of throw it away. But the analysis should happen. I think that's fair. Third and four. Garber's in the pocket. Ducks need a stop. Garber's on the move. Throws that one. And it is... Contested along the turf and caught. What a catch by Ramillo. And how do they treat him? This might be prime time for him to get a sack. He drops into coverage, but they bring pressure from elsewhere and get to Garbers for the sack. Might be impacting he him. He has. Going to hand the ball off. Die left side running with his speed. Likio is in. Not Verdell. Behind Shuck. 
Abibi Likio gets the ball and just barely, I think he got there, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. That line judge coming in. That spot looks short. Johnson in motion. Shuck gives it for Dell. Didn't get there. Playing for a couple of years from high school, redshirt year, now finally the starter at Oregon. And he said the first couple of weeks felt like he'd been in a car crash. The type to step up. Let's see what they can do. Under 10 minutes to go. Play fake. Shock over to Red. And Jalen Red with that speed ended up having to play DB himself. He may have saved an interception. Shock made one Cal Bears defender miss. And now the ball's on the turf. He fumbled it. It got stripped away. And Cal recovers. Comes up with a turnover. Cameron Good with the recovery. Because of all the war strife that they were trying to get away from. Third and nine, Garbers is going down. He gets sacked. So the Oregon defense. Under seven minutes to go from his end zone. Shock has to avoid a safety and just did. On defense, Good and Deng and Johnson have played really well. That was almost a special teams mistake. Low snap. Sneed did well to get it off. Remigio with some room. Trying to get to that right corner. And he gets inside Oregon territory all the way down to the 40. Pretty good return. Garbers with a four-man rush coming quickly. Dumps that one short, and it was caught. Who do you trust in situations like that? It's who do you trust? Got to beat your man inside. Give your quarterback a target. Garbers in the shotgun. Is going to throw right side. It is incomplete. Trying to get it to poke. That. And now he leaves it to his defense. Tyler Shuck an offense for the Ducks back on the field. Dumps it short. Micah Pittman turns it upfield. First down and he gets out of bounds. Step for Bynum. First and ten. Shuck steps up, slings that one to Jalen Red, who uses his speed to get the first down and also gets out of bounds. Ducks have to get to the end zone. They're down four. That one is short to the running back, Habibi Likio. Derby season for them. Oregon trying to bounce back and keep their championship hopes alive. Hand off straight ahead. Third and one. Tyler Shuck drops back to pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. So he's going to run, and he will get the Oregon first down. Don't want to have him in the middle of the field. Under a minute to go. Shuck steps up, throws short, and a big hit. The ball's on the turf. Was that a catch and a fumble for Johnny Johnson? The officials are saying yes. Cal comes away with a football. And make a football move before having it knocked out. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he caught that ball, spun around, took a step. That's control. That ball doesn't come out until he gets the second hit, so... To me, that is a catch, control, hit, and fumble. But the Bears are not going to have to snap this one again. Justin Wilcox and Cal, everything that they've been through, Rod, it has been a trying month for the Golden Bears. First game canceled, second game quickly rescheduled on the road. Disappointing, crushing loss in big game against their rival, Stanford. They finally have a win in 2020.